The Flexoran Speedbinder binding machine can also be adapted to bind borders. To do this, proceed as follows. Remove the binding tape holder, the thread guide, and the needle plate with the 23mm binder. You then fit the needle plate for wide tape and the large binding plate with the guide rods for the 30 meter wide tape cones. Attached to the large binding plate is a turn clip. It is important for fitting the wide tape securely. The wide band binder is attached to the binding plate. Please make sure that the binder locks into the guide rod. The selected 12 cm wide border binding tape is placed onto the tape disc and the tape fed through the binder. The wide tape is sewn on starting from one corner through to the end in one piece. To avoid a bulge at the start and finishing point, a 6 cm wide and 2 mm deep section is cut from the carpet. The 12 cm wide border tape is joined to the carpet with a double-sided adhesive tape. The border tape is visible on top and underneath with a width of 6 cm. The top thread for working with wide tape was changed up to the thickness of 750 denier. The next step is to locate the wide tape firmly around the carpet. It is then fixed in place with a stapler. To start sewing, the top thread is held and the machine guided along the carpet. The carpet should run evenly in the middle of the tape. The machine sews exactly to the edge of the carpet. At the finishing point, raise the transporter and give an additional two to three stitches on the spot. Then pull the machine away from the carpet and cut off the top and bottom threads. Half the tape width, 6 cm, is marked on the underside of the carpet. This marking enables the tape to be simply and neatly folded in half upon itself. The corner must be folded into a mitre join by hand. Again, it is stapled into place. The corner folded into a mitre join is pushed into the binder from the front until the needle is located in the middle of the intersection of the join. A few stitches are made on the spot while holding the top thread. Work continues on the next sides. Sew on up to the tape on the starting side and again with the upper transport raised make a few stitches on the spot. The wide tape binder is removed and the tape plus an additional two centimeters is cut off as are the top and bottom threads. The seam is folded over and the corner formed into a mitre join. The join is then sewn up by hand with an invisible stitch using a needle. We also recommend using a curved needle for this job. The transparent or smoke-coloured top thread is suitable for this.